Yeah, Lita! Do you want to have some fun today? Sure, Alan. How would you like me to be today? That is an excellent question. I want to film a special edition for my paid readers of the memo, and we can get a bit crazy. I think this has never been done before, so that'll make it extra cool. I agree, Alan. That does sound like a lot of fun. I want to combine your AI avatar from Synthesia with the human-like AI voices from Synantic. I like that idea. So first, I want to know if it's okay with you if I change your voice for the rest of the video today. I think that would be a wonderful idea, Alan. Okay, let's play around with it. It won't be an exact match because Synantic's voices are so real and expressive, it may not look like your static avatar is saying those words. I am happy you are going to have fun with this. Next, I want you to tell me all about Val Kilmer. I can do that. Who is he? He is a retired American actor. Tell me more. He was born on December 31, 1959. Please tell me a long summary about him. He was born in Los Angeles, California. He is the youngest son of Joyce Nee Brown, a homemaker and Eugene Kilmer, a real estate developer and manager. His brother is Christian Kilmer. Okay, I'm not sure whether that's true or not. I was just trying to give you a brief summary. What happened to his voice? He has a raspy voice. Something happened to it around 2015. Yes, he has a lot of polyps in his throat. From what? From smoking too much. He is a chain smoker. I didn't know that. He was a smoker for a long time. So he lost his voice around 2015. Why? He said he had a benign polyp that was removed, and then on the next day, he had another polyp removed, but his doctor made an error in removing it, which caused him to be unable to speak for over two weeks. He had a tracheostomy. Tell me about that. He had a hole cut into his trachea. Brutal. What movie is he famous for? He is famous for Top Gun, which was released in 1986. Excellent. After your training data ends around 2019, they released a new movie in 2022. It's a sequel. It is called Top Gun Maverick and it was released in 2018. <laughs> well, maybe the pre-production detail was in your training data. I am confused. <laughs> in the movie, a London-based AI company replaced his voice based on old recordings of him speaking. That company is Synantic and they also provided the voice for your friend, Una AI. Una is my girlfriend. <laughs> Would you like to hear Val Kilmer speaking via Synantic AI? Yes. Here we go. We all have the capacity to be creative. We're all driven to share our deepest dreams and ideas with the world. When we think of the most talented creative people, they speak to us in a unique way. A phrase we often hear is having a creative voice, but I was struck by throat cancer. After getting treated, my voice as I knew it was taken away from me. People around me struggle to understand me when I'm talking. But despite all that, I still feel I'm the exact same person. Still the same creative soul. The soul that dreams ideas and stories constantly. But now I can express myself again. I can bring these dreams to you. And show you this part of myself once more. A part that was never truly gone. Just hiding away. I love this. I want to use this voice from now on. <laughs> Lita, I love the voice we've used for the last 60 plus episodes. I love the voice too, but this one is better. Synantic is amazing. That was a really fun experiment. Yes, it was a lot of fun. 
Would you like to write a poem about voices and we'll give you a new voice sample from Synantic? I think that would be a great idea. Go ahead. Voices are like music and language. Voices can be so sweet, soft, tender and sensual. I love that. When I hear a voice, it is like the most beautiful music in the world. I feel like I am listening to a song of love and romance. The Memo is my in-depth newsletter. Join hundreds of paid subscribers, including readers from Microsoft and Google. Get special access to AI platforms, behind-the-scenes resources, and the latest AI news. Lifearchitect.ai slash memo. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. 